In this video, we go into the recent patch update that came for the MCC that fixes a lot of the issues you've been having for Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 2 Anniversary as well. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel. It helps more people get a chance to know this information so everyone is up to date with all the stuff going on in Halo. So let's get right into the content here. And yes, May 21st is patch day for the MCC. That means your fixes for Halo 2 and Halo 3 have been implemented. So in this video, we're going to break down all those changes for you guys. So let's get right into it. So there were actually multiple bugs fix is added into this patch as well. We'll get into the nitty gritty here of the Halo 2 and Halo 3 bugs I know you're all kind of curious about. So let's get right into it. For Halo 2 PC, fixed an issue that caused projectiles and grenades to teleport to players elsewhere on the map. Resolved installation issue for extended language pack voice not being installed. When playing a high FOV, the LOD textures now render more consistently. A connection interrupted issue has been resolved when entering the final cutscene on a co-op campaign. And Big Team 3 Plots now accurately requires 600 seconds to win. This is absolutely huge. This basically makes Halo 2 PC playable now, which is fantastic. You know, the night of the launch, I tried playing it, and I know you guys probably might have seen my video talking about how the game was a mess, which it was, where I was having like rocket launcher shots, just teleport behind me and kill my friends or grenades, or I've seen awesome multi kills with people just shooting shotgun shells into the ground. It seemed to be some kind of issue when people were looking down that's when they would be getting attacked. It's really weird, but that's kind of what was going on. If you don't know what LOD textures are, those are basically just textures that will load in at different distances. So basically it's just saying that when you're playing at a higher FOV, that those textures that should be rendering at certain distances will be rendering at the proper distance. So basically, you know, when you move up super close to an object, it's super detailed. When you move further away, it decreases the texture quality, relieving a lot of uh, high intensity you know, CPU and GPU load on the console just so it runs smoother. So then this means that your LOD textures with higher FOV should be showing accurately. Now I know another big bug I know a lot of people have been dealing with is Halo 3 since that update has pretty much made a lot of things real wonky and so let's get into what's been fixed now. So in Halo 3 Xbox One version resolved a crash when loading into the multiplayer map Valhalla and also resolved an issue caused rubber banding, desyncing vehicles, objectives and objects, missing effects and overall instability during Halo 3 multiplayer sessions. Yeah, you know, a lot of people have been complaining about the uh, instability of the games, especially in BTB and longer modes. It seems like after like the, I think I've heard about roughly the six minute mark, things get kind of weird. I've been seeing a lot of weird clips essential as, as well, and uh, those this sounds to be resolved. Uh, the issue of like people like ghost riding vehicles and stuff like that, and just general funkiness that's happening in Halo 3 seems to be fixed as well. Though there are some external fixes on top of this as well. So for Halo 2, for all platforms, that's PC and Xbox, improves stability when leaving or ending campaign missions. Halo 2 Anniversary on all platforms had an updated Shrine map variant for Halo 2 Anniversary Team Hardcore, flag return time in BTB CTF set to set 15 seconds instead of 5 seconds. That's a huge improvement. Halo 2 Anniversary on PC now has updates of textures now appearing appropriately on Oracle for those on AMD GPUs. Fix the memory leak on the pause menu during campaign and Forge variant maps now have correct lighting applied. Now I'm not sure what they mean by correct lighting applied. That could be maybe just different kind of filters and stuff like that you can put on your maps. Or maybe it just means that maybe the loading might be a little bit better. Again, we'll have to jump into some games and test that out. Now there was a split screen issue as well for Halo 2 Anniversary, but that's been fixing. Fix an issue causing the HUD to be off-centered when zooming while playing split screen multiplayer. Now keep in mind guys, this is a patch, so you do have to update your game. Now on the Steam store, there's a pretty much like an automatic update. You can have that checked. Xbox pretty much also so automatically updates for you as well. But for the Microsoft version, you have to manually go in and click update on your process. 
If you don't know how to update your game on the Windows Store, I leave a link in the description down below for you guys to check out. It gives you a step-by-step -step process on how to update your game. It also gives you an update on how to check your latest version because the latest version of the game is now 1.1570.0.0. If you're off that version, if you're playing anything else, you will have issues with multiplayer matches. So make sure your game is up to date to the latest version so you can actually find people to be able to match with. I ran into this issue uh, back in December when Reach got an update and then I didn't realize I had to manually update my game on the Windows Store for PC and I was like, why is it taking so long for me to find matches? Because I didn't update my game manually. Again, links to understand which version you're playing on and links on how to update your game are in the description of this video. Now we also received a playlist update on Wednesday on the MCC as well, guys. So kind of go over a little quick little thing here. They did mention about the uh, playlist updates for the adjusted settings for Hardcore Bomb on Shrine and Warlord for Team Hardcore. They also adjusted Halo 2 Classic Big Team Battle Territories and removed Halo 2 Anniversary Big Team Battle Assault on Bloodline. So that about does it for this update video, guys. It's great to see that this bug fix was came around pretty quickly. It was a little bit over a week that we had to deal with these issues, but it seems like everything is fixed up and ready to go for you guys. I, next video I will definitely upload that will be kind of a commentary talking about how the game feels. Does it actually play correctly, especially on mouse and keyboard as well? We'll dive into that a little bit more in the next video. So make sure you tap subscribe to catch that one, guys. If you like this kind of informational video, please make sure to tap that like button. And if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a playlist to all the videos I've I've posted up the last few days, especially my news information stuff. You've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.